how are you doing? I want to do a quick video on functions, operation on functions. So this video is going to talk about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions. So let's take and a look. And don't worry, I'm not driving. I'm in the passenger seat. Okay, what we have here is operations on functions. And please excuse my voice. I am a little hoarse, but I do want to get this video out. On the paper, what I have is two functions. f of x is equal to 3x minus 2, and g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 1. The first operation we're going to talk about is sum. So if you see f plus g of x, that is the same thing as saying f of x plus g of x. What you're doing is adding the two functions together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what f of x is equal to and then add it to what g of x is equal to. And if I want to get rid of the parentheses, I can. There's nothing to distribute here. So I get 3x minus 2 plus 2x squared plus 1. If I combine like terms and write this in descending order, it will be 2x squared plus 3x, and then negative 2 plus 1, I can bring those together to get negative 1. And this is my final answer for the sum of two functions. Next, let's talk about the word difference. Difference means subtraction. So what you will see is f minus g of x, and it'll be written like this, f minus g of x. And in your mind, you need to understand that that means f of x minus g of x. So I replace what f of x is equal to, 3x minus 2, minus the g of x function, which is 2x squared plus 1. Now, when you're subtracting, you have to make sure you distribute that negative sign. The first function stays the same, but on the second one, notice that negative sign goes to both terms. So it turns into negative 2x squared minus 1. And just as I did before, I'm going to combine like terms and write in descending order. Negative 2x squared plus 3x, and negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. This is my final answer. Next, let's talk about product. Product means multiplication. So the function will be written as the following f dot g of x and this is a dot please don't put a circle there because a circle means something different let's put a dot there like a dot product so this means I'm going to take that f of x function which is 3x minus 2 multiplied by the g of x function which is 2x squared plus 1 now when you see two polynomials multiplied together you have to do the foiling method or distribute method so I take the 3x and I distribute, and then I take the negative 2 and I distribute. Again, this is also called the FOIL method. Some teachers refer to it as the FOIL method. Some teachers refer to it as the distributive method. So I'm going to write this in descending order. Not necessary to do this, but I always tend to write my polynomials in descending order by the powers. And this is your final answer. Now, let's talk about one more operation. And I'm going to flip the page over. The last operation is a quotient. So quotient is the same as saying division. So if I have f over g of x, then that's the same as saying f of x over g of x. So I'll put the f function at the top 
and I'm going to put the G function at the bottom. So that will be 3x minus 2 at the top. and 2x squared plus 1 at the bottom. And as I look to try to simplify this, there is nothing I can do to simplify. So this is my final answer. This is great. No work needed. Let's do one more example where the f of x and the g of x are a little bit more complicated. Let's try fractions. So. I have two fractions on my um, paper. f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 2, and g of x is equal to 7 over x squared minus 4. Now I want to try to do the sum first. So I'm going to do the sum of these two functions. So I write the f of x first plus the g of x function. Now I'm trying to add these two functions together. So remember when you're dealing with fractions, the denominator needs to be the same before you can add them together. So the first fraction I have 1 over x minus 2, but on the second fraction I'm going to factor the denominator so I can tell what my LCD is going to be. And as you see on this I'm noticing that I need an x plus 2 in the denominator in order to make these look the same. So I multiply the top and the bottom by x plus 2. And this is what I have. When I made that change, both of my denominators look the same. And then I can add across the top. And what I get is x, and then I have 2 plus 7, which is 9, over my LCD, which is x plus 2 and x minus 2. And this is my final answer. Not too bad. So when you're trying to subtract two functions, it's very similar. So we're going to do difference next. That means I have to subtract two fractions. I need to take f of x minus g of x. Now keep in mind, in order to subtract these two fractions, just like adding, the denominators need to look the same. So if I have 1 over x minus 2 minus 7 over x squared minus 4, I can't subtract these two because they don't look the same in the denominator. So what I need to do is factor that x squared minus 4, I need to factor that, and that's the difference of two squares. If you don't remember how to factor, I do have a video on factoring that you can check out. So for this one, the same thing, x plus 2 is missing from that first fraction, so I multiply the top and the bottom by x plus 2. At the top, I have x plus 2 over my LCD. And then I have 7 over my LCD. Now they look exactly the same in the denominator, and I can subtract. So I have x, and then 2 minus 7 is negative 5 over my LCD, which is x plus 2, x minus 2. And this is my final answer. Flip the page over. Let's do product. Product is multiplication, so let's multiply these two fractions together. Now, to multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. Um, before you multiply, see if you can cross-cancel anything. So if I have 1 over x minus 2 times 7 over x squared minus 4, nothing cancels out here. So I can just multiply 1 times 7 across the top which is going to be 7, and then I multiply x minus 2 times x squared minus 4. And this is my final answer.
the last thing we need to do is quotient and this is the division we're taking f of x over g of x so what's going to go in the numerator is a fraction and then what goes in the denominator is a fraction so I have 1 over x minus 2 at the top and then 7 over x squared minus 4 now this is a ugly complex fraction so what I'm gonna do is write this as a division problem when you see a fraction you can just write it 1 over x minus 2 divided by the bottom fraction which is 7 over x squared minus 4 this looks a lot better than the complex fraction and to divide fractions you change division to multiplication and you flip the second so I flip the second fraction now I'm going to factor the x squared minus 4 because it may cancel out with something in the denominator and when I write it like that it does the x minus 2 you see it at the top and the bottom x minus 2 can go away so my final answer is 1 times x plus 2 and then 7 so x plus 2 over 7 is my final answer not too bad oh my voice I think I'm done with everything I need to talk about I can't think of anything else